What's going on everybody? Resale Rabbit here. It is, oh, hold on. Let me get the date. I always like to do the date. Uh, it is Saturday, the 29th of January. And well, you can see it's kind of dark out, but you can also see I'm at a storage facility. I bought two units today. One of them, I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you kind of the trailer because, well, you can't, it's dark out. You can't see it that great, but I'm really excited for it. This is the most expensive storage unit that I've ever bought. If you remember before, the most expensive one I bought was 2,500 ish, 2,400, something like that, the forklift unit. This one beat that one. I spent 2,850 bucks on this unit and it is a total gamble. I'm gonna make a lot of that back, absolute worst case, I'm not worried about that, but I might still end up losing 500 to 1,000 bucks, you never know we'll find out so anyways the reason this is just the trailer well there's two reasons why this is just the trailer reason number one is because i'm gonna when i when i empty this unit out again or when i empty it out again i'm gonna film it again for you so you can see the the full feature let me show you the other reason why it's the trailer all right i got the light on it's a trailer that's why so this was the unit this is a big trailer you can see it goes back a long ways uh, this is a 20 foot, tw uh, this might be a 25 foot unit, but either way, the trailer comes right up to the front. So this is probably around a 20 foot trailer. It's a snowmobile trailer. It's quite wide. It's, I don't know, probably eight feet wide or so. Um, I'm intentionally not showing you what's on it yet, but you can see everything is strapped down. So over here, we've got a big light bar. We've got a little ladder. We've got, I don't even know what this is, some sort of vinyl cloth like material we've got a scary looking extension cord uh looks like just a bunch of straps and whatnot i don't think there's anything too fancy in there let's see i don't think there's oh there is there's some hunting clothes and stuff in this bag uh, let's see what name is on these boots uh ozark trail it's a walmart brand nothing special there uh, here, oh, we got a machete. Nothing too special or exciting in here. Um, is this in here? It feels like it is. I mean, there could be something else in there, but it's got some weight to it. A ladder for something. <clears throat> some batteries. These are probably just going to get recycled. Now, I don't think there's anything on this side. And the trailer goes right up against the wall. So this trailer, and you get the big guard on the front. There is, well, I'll just show you the whole thing. We've got a golf cart. What's in the front here? A box for something. Uh, let's see. It looks like a cover. So maybe some sort of cover for this trailer. Uh, Rubbermaid, a cart. I think this is like a garbage cart or something. Now, let's take a look at this golf cart. This is, I don't see a name on it or anything. It's got some nice lights on it. This is actually probably what that light bar was going to be used for. Uh, let's see. I'm not seeing any keys because that's where the keys go. But that's something that I can get pretty easily. I don't know what this is. It just feels like plastic. Uh, we're all strapped down, so I can't look under here. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking at, what, I, what we've got there. It's got a choke, so it means it's a gas powered. And everything's strapped down nicely. Uh, looks like it's got a uh, like bed on the back with some stuff in it. This looks like a seat. I don't know, maybe at one point there was a seat on the back and they put a bed on it. I have no idea. Uh, but this is a nice thing for like a farm or something like that. Now back here, try not to trip on these. We've got a bike. Honestly, probably not worth much, but we got a mini bike here. This is exciting. Uh, I know nothing about these things. Looks like it does need a little bit of work. I don't know if the keys go in it or where the keys would go. 
Uh, it's all strapped down, so I can't open this bag up. Right? Yes, I can. I don't know, maybe some extra lights or something. We've got a big box right there. Very curious to see what's in it. Here is a go-kart. Try and walk around this thing. Now the go-kart, the engine is off. I'm assuming this is the engine for it. Don't know. I feel like the go-kart, probably a hundred bucks maybe. It's in pretty rough shape. The engine isn't attached. It's probably a project for someone, but nonetheless, uh, continuing down here, I have no idea what, what this is. Something that's rolled up. Uh, here we've got some big tires. A set of four. Oh, there's a stroller over here too. A set of four large tires. They don't look like they're in amazing shape, but I don't think these are for like a car. Let's see if I can see a number or something on them. Actually, they're in pretty rough shape. Someone might buy these though. You never know. They almost look like maybe for a small tractor or something. Uh, and then there's this big cart here. I'm not sure what its purpose is for, but someone will buy that. Um, what else? Let's take a look. Is there anything under here? That bag I slid under there. Nothing else under it. It's nice because everything's already packed on here. So, oh, we got a heater. That's probably a good 100 bucks. Uh, with everything already packed on here and strapped down, I literally just need to hook up and pull out and grab those few things and the batteries. Uh, I'm going to double check that it's strapped correctly, but I am going to disconnect this strap, though. Because I want to know what's in here. Oh, nothing good. Some extra parts. Oh, well, we got a heater. I just sold one of these. Granted, it was new, but for 65 bucks. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I got really excited at first. Well, still, probably a 20 or $30 item here. Oh man, did I get excited. Yeah, nothing really too special in here. Uh, but the box is probably worth something. And then we've got, I'm gonna be able to get this out. Let's see if I can shimmy a few things. There's a Oh, it's a file cabinet. So there might not be anything in there. So anyways, this has some new parts on it, it looks like, or recently painted parts. Or taped, never mind. So I honestly have no idea what to expect here. Like I said, I'm not gonna lose out. The uh, trailer here, I'm gonna step out here. It'll be a little easier if I'm not standing on the back here. It's also freezing cold out. I think I'm gonna do pretty well here. All right, let's step off. So the trailer, I think is good for at least 1500 bucks. I was looking at similar ones on Facebook Marketplace. Someone has one that's basically the same condition, looks just like this, but it's like an eight footer, it's much smaller. Someone's got one of those for 1200. Um, and then there are a whole bunch of these that are much nicer that are in the eight or 9,000 range. I don't think I'm going to get that for this. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any identification to tell me how old it is. Probably not. I would assume it used to be right here, but you never know. Um, but anyways, I think I can get between 1500 and 2000, maybe 2,500 bucks. Um, you know, it's not, the deck is a little older, but it's not like rotted or anything. Um, it does have, there's a little rot, but it does have some framing down the middle. And it's a decent sized trailer. That's not rot. There's some surface rust like here, but this is dirt. It's all dirt. I don't know how, how bad it looks underneath the dirt, but it's not super rusted. Uh, it's been sitting here for Lord knows how long and the tires are still holding air. 
So it can't be that bad. So if I get, say, 1500 bucks, 1500 to 2000 for that. Oh, there's a box under there. Let's, let's crawl under there and see if we can figure out what's in there. So if I get 1500 for that, even if the golf cart doesn't run, if this golf cart runs, it's probably three or 4,000. Golf carts are expensive right now. I've been looking for one for somebody. Um, but even if it doesn't run, it's still probably 500 bucks. Uh, let's see what we got here. Looks like a wench. And another wench. This one might be new. I mean, so right here, this might be 200 bucks. The old one, maybe 50. So if we say 500, 1500, that's 2000 minimum. The bike, the pedal bike, the mini bike, the go kart. Um, this thing with its contents, the ladder, all of that, maybe another 500. So absolute worst case, I think I'll probably get about 2,500, which has me losing about 300 bucks. And it's not gonna take a whole lot of work to do this. Um, you know, it's literally all, I, I'll just refasten that strap, uh, hook it up to the trailer, and these few things just throw in the back of the truck. It'll take me 10 minutes to get this out of here. And, um, and you never know what might, if there's something in that file cabinet or anything else that might be in here. You never know what this is. Maybe that will have some value. Same with this other roll back here. Uh, so at the end of the day, oh, I forgot about this too. So I'd say worst case, I'll probably make my money back. But if this golf cart, this, this thing is not in running condition, but maybe I'm way off saying a hundred bucks and I can get 400. I have no idea. I'm not an engine guy. I don't know what this stuff is worth. You never know. Maybe I think I was estimating about 250 for that. Maybe more, maybe less. Uh, maybe that box. I was thinking, you know, 50 to 75 bucks for that box. Maybe those are two or 300. I have no clue. I would be really surprised about that. But the tires, I didn't even consider that, you know, these might just get thrown out or given away for someone for a garden, or maybe I can get 50 bucks for them. Who knows? But the golf cart is the huge wild card because this thing could be 500 or it could be 4,500 depending on its condition. It may, uh, it might not have an engine actually. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know this stuff. So I'm going to get this stuff out of here and in the daylight, I'll show you a little bit better view of it. And, um, and this will be another day down the road. And this is interesting. He's got himself a light here that I don't know what he would have plugged it into. But I mean, I sell everything. I get four dollars for that light. The, even the straps. I mean, they, they look like decent straps. I could probably get ten bucks for the straps. One, two, three, four, five, six straps. Ten, fifteen bucks. You know, all those little things do add up. So, in conclusion. I'm estimating I'll break even, worst case, maybe lose a hundred or two. But best case, you know, best case, the trailer gets 2,000 or 2,500. And, you know, maybe that's in perfect running order. And I get 4,500, you know, best case, I could make eight grand on this unit, maybe. So that's where we're at. So I think that's all I have to show you in this one. I might run to the other unit, but I don't know if I'm gonna film it because this one's pretty clear and easy to see um, and it is dark out and it is snowing we'll play it by ear but anyways that is this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you're excited for me to see if this stuff runs it's my first storage unit in quite a while i haven't been to an auction in i don't know maybe a year half a year something like that but anyways hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one